Hey everyone, Pedro here with Cinemill with my buddy Clay Haskell. Hello. He's just got back from NAB and the guys at Kfinity were nice enough to loan him out this new Mavo LF. So it's a large format sensor. And so he's got a shoot tomorrow and he owns a Ronin S and he heard about my Ronin S counterweight kit and uh, called me up and said, do you think we are able to balance this Kfinity on a Ronin S? I said, probably, why don't you come over? So here we are. And um, the trick here, of course, this is a large format sensor camera. So we have the Focus Optics Ruby 14 to 24, which is uh, covers the large format sensor. And so it is kind of a big, kind of a heavy sensor or pretty camera. Big, pretty beefy lens. Pretty beefy lens, yeah. um, as are most of the large mm. format lenses. And so the camera itself is really light. I'm pretty sure that if we had a, a EF mount on here, which of course is right. an option, uh, and we have a, a lighter weight lens that it would balance easy without any sort of counterweight. Like two and a half pounds or so, yeah. Yeah, that's super light. And so, uh, but with large lens and the PL adapter and everything, um, we were able to get it balanced, as you can see, using the Cinemilled counterweight kit. Um, yeah, and pretty quickly too. I yeah, it didn't take too long. It, it helps to know what you're doing. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> luckily, I just got done, you know, doing all the, the videos for the counterweight kit. And so... This stuff was all fresh in my mind. So you see it took some side roll weight right there on the roll uh, counterweight um, mount and then some fore and aft back weight. So it's just these components here and yep. here. This mm -hmm. one that is attaching to the side of your Ronin. This piece here mm -hmm. that, you, that you just attach. And yeah. this top plate. The top plate, the top plate's really important. Um, it allows you to sort of like hug the camera so it doesn't flex because now we got a lot more weight on here. So you don't want this to, to flex or bounce or vibrate or anything like that. Mm. But mainly it allows you to use a little bit higher stiffness on okay. the Ronin settings. And so that gives you a little bit better performance. But as you can see, it's, yeah, it's pretty well it's balanced. Really when you let go, it tends to stay where, where it's at, which is what you want. Mm. And uh, let's fire it up actually. And it's gonna and go to center. Action. All right. so. You know, it's actually not as heavy as I thought it would be. It's not yeah. so bad. Obviously, the you see you can pan left, pan right. It's actually fairly responsive. Mm. It can tilt straight up. Well, you also haven't... Uh, and we can do flashlight mode. There's a way to um, to calibrate the motors Yeah. by just holding down the M and the trigger for 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. They'll do like an auto-tune. Like an auto-tune, yeah. Yeah, so maybe it'll... I'm curious to see... Uh, so you don't even tune it, you just jump right in there. Well, I had it tuned from before from some of the other things I was testing. So, okay, so it's already it's probably in the in the zone. Okay. But this is a really good configuration right here, underslung. You can slide over a table. Yeah. You know. And it's still fairly responsive. Um, I, mean, I remember I, I tuned this so that it would be like that. But even with this big of a setup on the Ronin S, if you have it balanced right like we have, right? you can see it's following my movements pretty good. I mean, that's pretty incredible. That's not quite a whip pen, but. And it can be tuned a little more. Yeah, right? we can tune it a lot more. I mean, the for what I'm doing is just very slow pushes and some small subtle turns. Right. You know, not really a lot of complex movement, but um, that's pretty wild. I mean, this is a 6K raw capable camera and a little handheld configuration yeah. we are pretty spoiled at this point <laughs> absolutely i think it's really it's really incredible. i think it's pretty amazing that one we have a gimbal this small yeah. two we have a camera this small with such a large sensor with so you know the specs on this this body seem really promising yeah i'm really excited to see what you're going to do with it absolutely yeah, it's really uh it's, it's not heavy. as bad as i thought nice workout uh, yeah it's hours. not as bad as i thought honestly the eva was worse on there but yeah, I mean that's it's it's quite nice. Um, I'm I'm impressed. I, I didn't think it was going to work to be honest. But what is the payload that you think we're at right now? Like I don't know. We'll, we're going to weigh it up and okay. uh, we'll put the weight in the description. Um, but I don't know. I mean the body I mean, you said is, is what it says supports. This is like two and a half pounds. I think the, the lens, lens is, is probably pounds. three. So yeah. Then what is here? Probably another pound in counterweight, so maybe we're less. Right around like seven. We're right yeah. in the limit probably. Yeah. Of what this thing could do. But um, we're gonna continue to play here. Mm. And um, 
But anyways, just wanted to give you guys a quick look. Thanks a lot. Yeah, we'll have to more Clay to for coming out and sharing. You know, and likewise, thank you for sharing and for Kefinity for totally. for loaning you out the camera and letting us experiment. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, yeah, thank you. Pedro. Hopefully, uh, in not too long, we'll maybe we'll be able to share some footage. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Ciao.